because uh, it follows an instruction from the government that uh, they are very worried that you know uh, any transaction that happens while the uh, uh, while the uh, company is referred to uh, uh, NCIT government fears that uh, it could uh, go against the spirit of the amendment in the law which they recently brought in which said that you know a defaulter cannot uh, buy stake uh, uh, unless he repays his, his dues. So the concern from the government really stems from that what if there is a backdoor entry? Because right now when a case is referred to NCIT, everything comes to a standstill. There is a moratorium on everything. But one thing which is not a standstill is the transaction between banks and ARTs. So this is one thing which could then change the composition of the voters, the COC, uh, the lenders. And that was the biggest fear that government had. And uh, that is one of the reasons why government told lenders that please do not send, sell any assets which are referred to NCIT while the you know while the process is on. Hello. Right. Sangeeta, so I guess this would also jeopardize uh, Tata's as well as Liberty House as we were picking up were in the fray. Tata's were willing to pay about almost 35,000 crore apiece for Bhushan Steel's assets. No, uh, yes. No, this would not uh, make any difference to that because you're the, this is the deal between banks and ARC. Now, your banks have decided not to sell to ARC. And uh, so, so the banks will continue holding the stake. What will happen is that banks will actually benefit by not selling it because they were getting a better offer from Tata's as vis-a-vis uh, -vis selling it to the ARC. The Tata's were offering 27% haircut, whereas uh, 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 the ARC is offering 50% haircut, which means you know it makes sense for lenders to continue uh, holding the assets rather than selling it to the ARC. Hello? Okay, Sangeeta.